Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 2nd of 2021. Well, it is titled the Hubble Ultra Deep Field in Light and Sound. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image that's known as the Hubble Ultra Deep Field, in which they took a place and took an area and look at a place that looked relatively empty of objects. So not pointing it towards any bright stars or galaxies or even easy galaxies to see, but looking towards a relatively empty space and keep observing that same area as time was available over a long period of time to get you a great detail of what was able to what would be hiding there what was actually visible there in that image. So what do we find? Well, we find as we look out billions of galaxies as we look out here. And in fact, as you look around this image, you'll see that every single object with a couple of exceptions are actually galaxies far away from us. How far away? Well, we can measure this using their redshift. Galaxies are all moving away from us and the further away ones move away faster. So there is a relationship between how fast a galaxy is moving and that's a velocity that we can measure using what is called a Doppler shift and how far away it is. So by measuring the speed of a galaxy through this, we can then get an estimate of its distance. And these are actually all noted on the images in both numerically and along with the uh, sounds. So each sound associated with a certain distance. So as you move around the image, you can find galaxies that are relatively close to us things that are only a billion or 2 billion light years away, relatively nearby. But you can also find things pushing out close to 13 billion light years away out towards the very edge of the universe. So as you play around and look at some of these, uh, these you can actually see galaxies at various different distances that have been measured. So this is one of the areas that we have been able to study in great detail to try to learn about what galaxies were like a long time ago. And because light takes such a uh, travels at only a finite speed, we are actually able to see these galaxies as they were 10, 11, 12 billion years ago, long before the Earth had formed long before our own galaxy had even begun to form. So we can see what things were like that long ago and the light traveled that distance traveling 10 billion light years will take it about 10 billion years to get to us. So we see the galaxies not as they are today in this image, but as they were many billions of years ago, which gives us insight into what galaxies were like shortly after the Big Bang. And one of the things that we find is that galaxies were distorted and much smaller than others and than galaxies today. So much more distorted, uh, much uh, smaller than the galaxies as they've built up over collisions over time. And you can again see those as you move the mouse around the image if you use the link provided so that you can explore and see what these different galaxies are. So you'll get to see the the distances labeled and you'll also get to see the uh, this here sorry to hear the sounds associated with each color and that would sorry with each color with each distance so the further away it is the lower the tone that will be played so you get a chance to play around with this image and learn a little bit about these distant galaxies so that was our picture of the day for August the 2nd of 2021 it was titled the Hubble Ultra Deep Field in Light and Sound. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Event Horizon Telescope strikes again. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.